On March 28, 2025, a powerful earthquake shook Myanmar. This earthquake was a magnitude 7.7. .7. The epicenter was in the Sagaing region, near Mandalay, a major city in Myanmar. The earthquake caused widespread damage and loss of life, buildings crumbled and infrastructure was destroyed, many people died in the disaster, the earthquake was felt far and wide, people in Thailand, Cambodia and India felt the tremors, the impact of the earthquake was significant, it will take a long time for Myanmar to recover, the international community has offered aid and support, this earthquake is a reminder of the power of nature, it also shows the importance of disaster preparedness. The Sagaing Fault is a major fault line in Myanmar. It runs for about 1,200 kilometers or 745 miles. This fault is responsible for the recent earthquake. It is a strike-slip fault, meaning that two tectonic plates are sliding past each other horizontally. The Sagaing Fault marks the boundary between the India Plate and the Eurasia Plate. These plates are constantly moving. The India Plate is moving northwards and collides with the Eurasia Plate. This collision creates immense pressure along the fault line. Over time, this pressure builds up and eventually exceeds the strength of the rocks. This releases a tremendous amount of energy causing earthquakes. The Sagaing Fault is known for its seismic activity and poses a significant risk to Myanmar. The earthquake in Myanmar was shallow, which is a significant factor in the level of destruction it caused. This means that the point of origin was close to the Earth's surface, making the seismic waves more potent. Shallow earthquakes are particularly dangerous because they cause more damage than deeper earthquakes. The energy released has less distance to travel, resulting in more intense shaking. This is because the seismic waves have less distance to travel and lose less energy before reaching the surface. The closer the origin, the more violent the impact. In the case of the recent earthquake, the depth was only 10 kilometers, or 6.2 miles. This shallow depth is a critical factor in the severity of the quake. This shallow depth amplified the shaking intensity, resulting in more severe ground motion. Buildings and infrastructure were unable to withstand the force. The shallowness of the earthquake contributed to the widespread destruction. Emergency response teams had to act quickly to save lives and manage the chaos. Shallow earthquakes pose a serious threat to human lives and infrastructure. The damage to roads, bridges and buildings can be catastrophic. Their proximity to the surface makes them more destructive. The ground shaking is more intense leading to severe structural damage. Understanding the dangers of shallow earthquakes is crucial as it helps us prepare for and mitigate their impact. Preparedness and education can save lives and reduce damage. A construction concerns, a lack of safety measures. Rapid urbanization in Myanmar has raised concerns about building safety. Many new buildings have been constructed, but there are concerns about their ability to withstand earthquakes. Some buildings lack proper reinforcement making them vulnerable to collapse during seismic events. Unlike countries like Japan or the United States, Myanmar does not have strict building codes. These codes ensure that structures are designed to withstand earthquakes. The absence of such regulations increases the risk of building failures during earthquakes. The recent earthquake has highlighted the need for improved building practices. It is crucial to incorporate earthquake-resistant designs. This will help protect lives and property in future seismic events. A history of seismic activity. Myanmar has a long history of earthquakes. The country is located in a seismically active zone making it prone to frequent earthquakes. The Sagaing Fault is a major contributor to this seismic activity. It has caused numerous earthquakes throughout history. One notable example is the 1930 Bago earthquake. This earthquake had a magnitude of 7.3 and struck near the city of Bago. It caused widespread damage and loss of life, with over 550 people killed. The 2025 earthquake serves as a grim reminder of Myanmar's vulnerability to seismic events. It highlights the importance of understanding the country's seismic history. This understanding is essential for effective disaster preparedness and mitigation strategies. The Aftermath Aftershocks and Recovery Following the main earthquake, Myanmar experiences a series of aftershocks. These aftershocks are a natural part of the seismic activity that follows a major quake. Aftershocks are smaller earthquakes that occur after a larger earthquake. They are caused by the Earth's crust adjusting to the changes in stress that the main shock has created. They can continue for days, weeks, or even months. The frequency and intensity of these aftershocks can vary, making it difficult for residents to feel secure. 
While generally less powerful than the main shock, aftershocks can still cause significant damage, especially for already weakened structures. Buildings that have already been compromised by the initial quake are particularly vulnerable. The aftershocks pose challenges to rescue and recovery efforts. Rescue workers must navigate unstable environments which can be dangerous and slow down their progress. They can trigger further collapses and hinder the work of first responders. The constant threat of additional tremors makes every rescue operation a race against time. People in affected areas are advised to be cautious and stay informed about potential aftershocks. Emergency broadcasts and community meetings play a crucial role in keeping everyone updated and safe. The recovery process after such a devastating earthquake is long and arduous. It involves not only physical rebuilding but also emotional and psychological healing for the affected communities. It involves rebuilding infrastructure, providing medical care, and supporting those who have lost their homes and livelihoods. Aid organizations work tirelessly to meet the basic needs of survivors. The international community plays a crucial role in assisting Myanmar during this challenging time. Their support is vital in ensuring that the country can recover and rebuild stronger than before. Lessons Learned – Building a Safer Future The recent earthquake in Myanmar offers valuable lessons. The devastation it caused has highlighted the urgent need for better preparedness and stronger infrastructure. These lessons can guide us in building a safer future. By understanding the weaknesses in our current systems, we can make informed decisions to improve them. It is crucial to prioritize earthquake preparedness and mitigation strategies, including implementing strict building codes. These codes are not just guidelines but essential measures to ensure safety. These codes ensure that structures can withstand seismic activity. Reinforced materials and innovative construction techniques play a significant role in this. Public awareness campaigns are vital. They help communities understand the risks and the necessary steps to take before, during, and after an earthquake. They educate people about earthquake safety measures, including knowing what to do during an earthquake and having emergency kits readily available. These drills and preparations can make a significant difference in saving lives. Investing in early warning systems can save lives. These systems provide crucial seconds or minutes of warning, which can be the difference between life and death. These systems detect earthquakes quickly and provide timely alerts to at-risk areas, allowing people to take cover or evacuate if necessary. The effectiveness of these alerts depends on the technology and the responsiveness of the community. By learning from the 2025 earthquake, Myanmar and other earthquake-prone regions can work towards creating a safer and more resilient future. This involves not just rebuilding but also rethinking and redesigning our approach to construction and community planning. This requires a collective effort from governments, organizations, and individuals. Collaboration and shared knowledge are key to making significant progress. It is about prioritizing safety, strengthening infrastructure, and being prepared for the unexpected. Together, we can build a future where communities are resilient and lives are protected.